Hi, welcome to Christy's Stampin' Stat. But I have got this lovely, the floral, so I pulled out my floral romance um, specialty DSP because it's got the um, this vellum in it and this gorgeous paper. Look how beautiful, 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 beautiful this paper is. And then we've got some that's got a wood grain on one side and this pretty um, leaf on the front and more of this gorgeous vellum. And then, oh, look at this pretty vellum. Pet and petal pink. So this is really pretty. So I went ahead and got and used this for um, my global project, which you can see on my blog. But I'm going to do a variation of that for you guys today because I love it. Um, and I had it so it opens this way because that was how the um, the card layout. When you do a sketch challenge, um, you try to use elements of that sketch to build your own cards. So I went ahead and did that. But today I'm going to change it up in a way that I would have done but with these same kind of colors. Um, in this pack of paper, they use Fresh Fig, but I think it's just a tiny bit. I mean, because of the variations on um, the vellum, I can use the Rich Razzleberry, and I have to tell you, I love Rich Razzleberry. I mean, I love Fresh Fig, but the Rich Razzleberry just has a little bit more sparkle, so I'm excited. So I'm actually using this paper right here. I love if you guys haven't gotten a pack of that it's spectacular it's a great way to get over the celebration DSP blues and then also on um, I don't know if you guys have been on this morning but you can get this lovely floral they have the floral grid paper for sale that you guys can totally get isn't that awesome it's so pretty we got this at on stage and we were like trying to take it home and get it all pretty and um laminate so we can continue to use it now we can get our own which is so spectacular and of course i had cut mine <laughs> so it fits in my lovely space which i enjoy okay so let's get stamping um, so the card that we're going to make today is what I said was a variation of this card. So for this one, I used um, the sentiment from the first frost, the wishing you all the best. And you can find all our first frost um, stamp set and the framelit in the bundle in, I'm not sure if it's still in the bundle, in the holiday favorites. So on the online section in the holiday favorites, because this is one of the carryovers. I hope it makes it into the main catalog, which we will see next week, or not next week, the week after next. Um, when we go to on stage, it's so exciting, but I love this set. Absolutely love this set. And you can still get it in the holiday favorites. Um, and it, I love the, when they mix the, um, the fonts and also I love the fonts of the dandelion wishes. So I'm at, I love the, the, again, the mixed fonts, but look at how swirly. I love that. So today we're going to do the wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness because I think the floral romance definitely lends to, um, romance card or wedding cards for congratulations and I'm going to pull out my um stitch label framelits because this is my favorite go-to framelit for all words I just totally love it it's one of the ones I do all the time and I'm going to use the tuft um folder which I think really good looks really great with the romance um the floral romance papers okay so here we go so I started with, with that pack of paper, like I said, the the um the colors that go with this paper. Ooh, I just knocked my whole thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! Of course. Um, the with the floral uh, DSP is fresh pay, fr uh, fresh fig, mellow moss, pear pizzazz, pe petal pink, Sarah sand, and whisper right. But I think that the it's close enough to the rich raspberry. I'm totally going to use the Rich Brownsbury today. Okay, let's see. I've got my... <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I totally knocked it. And then, I don't know if you can see this over in the corner. The Butterfly Do It Punch is back. Yay! So if you guys haven't gotten that, you should totally go on and get it. Love butterflies. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Petal Pink um, card base. And I, instead of cutting it, um, it's an 8.5 by 11. And instead of cutting it at 5.5, I did cut it at 4 and a quarter, and then folded it at 5.5 so that it's open this way, which I like. And <clears throat> I, again, I said I love the rich razzleberry. So I cut a rich razzleberry piece. It's just a quarter. Layer it down on there. And then I ran some very vanilla. So I got some very vanilla thick cardstock. And um, I really like the thick. It really helps it um, 
stand up. <clears throat> so I actually ran it through with the tuft. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? Almost. It, it isn't like a harlequin because it has these like little pin, um, circly up pieces that makes it more look like um, a quilt, like a baby quilt maybe, or um, like plush padding on like a library chair. You know, it's really a lovely fun texture so I'm gonna use that and then I cut a piece of my floral paper romance the floral romance and this is the vellum so it um, it looks really good when you you do it on the back and then I cut a little strip of again some of the rich raspberry and another piece of the villa vanilla white cardstock to go on the inside Okay, and I have a couple of strips <laughs> that I can cut out and put inside because I love to bring it, bring the um, the vellum through to all of it. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out out of the very vanilla using my stitched um, the, <clears throat> the stitch label framelit dies, and this is actually a really great die that has all kinds of fabulous. Um, Thanks for your sinnamons and stitch layers. Oh, if you guys haven't gotten this set, it's fantastic. It's like my go-to. I love it so much. Okay. So, and as you can tell, it has a bunch of little pieces. Now, you could use your um, paper piercing tool or your picket tool, or you can use um, your lovely brush. Now, the brush looks the, works the best when you, if you keep it inside this the framelit, but you can totally do it this way. See how it just works it? So nice. So nice. Okay, so I see I have like one right here. Make sure. Here we go. I did not do this. I cut it out on my um, my magnetic plate and not on my detail. This one I think you can do with either one. It probably works the best though if you use your um, precision plate with it. But I just used it on my magnetic plate. And again, also when you cut when you do your um, your tuft, it's a big. So you, um, the dynamics, you need to make sure you only use one um, plate when you run it through with your regular. I just, don't oh, luckily I don't have anything down here. Okay, so there's my pretty vanilla, a very vanilla. I'm gonna use some rich raspberry. And then I'm gonna use the sentiment, the wishing you a lifetime happiness put it on this and put it on the block pretty nice okay so I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna add one of these frosted flower embellishments to the bottom so when I when I'm stamping I want to make sure that I get it um, closer to the top instead of um, near the bottom or like perfectly centered in the middle So I cut out a couple extra in case I did it wrong, but oh, it turned out so nice. Clean that up on my on my chamois. Close my rich raspberry. Look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? So gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay. All right, so now we can build our card. Move that out of the way. Do, do, do. Okay. So first I'm going to glue down my rich raspberry cardstock layer. So much. I just really love this color. So the fresh fig, and then so fresh lid is a little bit darker. It has um, a little more brown, and then we have the blackberry bliss, which is like even darker but in a different way. Ooh, there we go. One of the reasons I really like this glue is it is a little bit of give in case you get it on there a little bit crooked, so I can straighten that out. Not pretty. But it does work really well, I think, the glue with the, the dry embossed. I'm going to use these dry embossed. I'm, just, I'm actually going to do it the right, the up way. I really liked on when I was using the foil to actually use it the other way because with the when it concaves in, it really gives a cool, like, reflective. On the regular paper, I'm just going to use the tuft. The way it was made. Uh-oh. Again, off a little bit. There we go. So you just get that around, and I will have the measurements up on um, my blog and attached to this video. 
from done. Okay, so then I'm going to attach um, the vellum. Now there's a lot of different ways people like to do the vellum, so you maybe can't see um, the glue. I find that the um, the glue does pretty good, but what I like to really do is just hide it. So I'm like putting it behind like the darker flowers. So putting a little bit of glue on the flowers. And then I'm going to put it in, like strategically on the leaves. So maybe the, it will just look like shadows if you can see any of it through. But you do need to make sure you get enough on here that the vellum will stay. So you're kind of painting with your glue, which is fun. Um, some of you can use the fast fuse or your um, snail, but I find that the glue works pretty good if I hide it behind there. So I'm just going to set that down again on the lower part. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, it's so pretty. So you can't really tell that this is really um, goes with the fresh fig because I think it matches um, our raspberry as well. I love the rich raspberry. Okay, so I'm going to put my lid back on. Actually, I need this. I'm thinking. Okay, so then for the seam, I cut this little piece of scrap um, rich raspberry um, of the same the same size as my very vanilla piece and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back right here like that okay oh, drop it and then just put it over the seam like that and if you had some pretty ribbon you can do that I think we have some of the rich raspberry um that velvet ribbon I think is still available you can do I was like ooh but I was trying to make a variation of this one and in this card I used um, just a piece of the petal pink that I had embossed um, with the subtle embossing folder as my my transition so here I wanted to do it the other way so it opens this way and use the red raspberry which I love okay muy bien and then our gorgeous sentiment and that we just need to pop it up on some dimensionals I am the sheet is almost over but don't throw away these edges use it all up it works so good so nice so nice love my stampin dimensionals Let me cut some more off with my snips Doo -doo -doo. made it a little too long so it should just go like that a little piece in the middle okay there we go Isn't that pretty so pretty it's such a pretty set and I haven't used it enough I need to maybe make it and focus on it peel my papers away so this is a pretty quick I mean you do have to emboss but the embossing was pretty quick there we go just like that just have to touch it to make sure and then you just put it center it right over on top just like that and that pretty and then you can add all these gorgeous frosted um these flower elements which are super adorbs totes adorbs and uh, on this one i use the, the pink the petal pink ones and then put a little um put a little uh rhinestone in the middle which is super pretty. So I was just gonna put one here. Oh no, maybe I should put three right there. Just make a bunch. It's so pretty. Super pretty. Super pretty. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? I have these and so I was going to see if these are the the um the clear uh, epoxy dots I wasn't sure that it's tiny well, those do fit what do you guys think do you like it with the um uh, I think it might be just too much I think it looks better with it just being settled I love these colors okay so I think with the little one with the sparkle, you almost need it because there's a lot of white. 
to bring it out in the pink. I think with the dark, it looks good just like it is. Isn't that pretty? Super simple and gorgeous. And it's a great wedding card. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. Aww. And then, of course, don't forget to cut your a piece of very vanilla for the inside. Let me put on. So here is just a piece. So when I was cutting down, um, when I was cutting down this piece of vellum, I just had a piece left. So I'm just gonna snip it in half. And add it to the bottom. Because I think it looks naked without something. I don't really worry about the trying to hide it as much on this little piece. Just kind of get it in the center and the bottom. <gasps> and again, use our glue. This glue is really lovely. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I used to have to always have to have my um, silicone craft sheet so as not to make a huge mess. And now I don't have to use it as much. Oops, there's my son home from class. My craft door is right by my craft room is right by my front door. So you can always know who's coming and going. But then I can always see when the UPS guy comes. If he comes during, I think he's come once before during a Facebook Live. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then of course you want to make sure we add something to the back. Another piece. What did I do with that piece? The just oh here it is. Okay, I'm gonna add a piece on the back. As well just like that you guys see that my in camera nope right here just add a little bit add a piece of the vellum to the back just like that I got a little bit of glue I have, of course have those erasers I think you can get those at any of the craft stores I'm hoping I've been um, I'm hoping that Stampin' Up! will bring these back because I love them. Especially since I use the glue. Um, so I just, it just erases the, the extra glue adhesive. Although it does, um, it does dry clear. But it's just a little shiny when you, um, if you leave a little bit too much on. Which is pretty awesome. There we go. Muy bien. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's super quick and super pretty, and I love these colors. And this floral um, romance DSP, specialty DSP, is gorgeous. And you can totally get that in um, my online store. So I hope you guys enjoyed my cards. And again, congratulations to Holly on winning the basket full of goodies. And, um, and this is my card earlier. So you can look same, same, almost the same layout. Just changed it up just a tiny bit. A little, a different color. They're both with the very vanilla. Isn't that pretty? Turned out really nice. And I love these flowers. Isn't they gorgeous? Really is lovely. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you're watching this um, on the replay, give me some love and like my page, um, my, my post. And if you're watching on YouTube on the replay, make sure you subscribe so you will get... Um, all of my videos when they post you're notified so thank you guys very much and make sure you go on and find out about the all the gorgeous um, the storage stuff because wow we are so super excited I was up at midnight so I could order right away anyway you guys have a great rest of your day and happy crafting <laughs>